Hey guys, so welcome back. So here I have is a New Year's Eve slash New Year's makeup uh, tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it and I am going to try to put it up before um, the night is over. So um, still give you guys a little bit of time but I just wanted to go ahead and throw in a New Year's tutorial since I have not done one. I did like Thanksgiving, I didn't do Christmas. But my Thanksgiving looks, you could have worn them for Christmas as well. So I wanted to get this last holiday out the way since it's the last holiday of the year. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this glittery makeup tutorial. You guys don't only have to wear it for New Year's. But since, you know, it's appropriate, it's flashy, splashy, and glittery, I wanted to put it up today. I did it um, this morning. So um, I hope you guys enjoy it. And let me know what you guys think about it. And if you guys do decide to rock it or not, um... Take a picture and tag me on Instagram, Viva Sharia, V-I-V-A-S-H-A-R-I-A. I would love to see your interpretation of this makeup tutorial. Okay guys, so the first thing first, you're going to need a base, a really good base to make your eyeshadow stick. I'm just going to take a concealer, and this is a really light concealer. I'm going to take this and prime my eye with it. Next thing I'm going to do is take a flat top eyeshadow brush, well a fluffy eyeshadow brush, and that's what that looks like. And I'm going to take a white eyeshadow, a white matte eyeshadow. This is just going to kind of give me like a, a guideline on where to put my glitter. So I'm taking this white shadow, and I'm just putting this at the inner corner, mainly, and then whatever's left on my brush, putting it on the entire lid. Just to kind of make the eye um, lid smooth and, you know, like a smooth surface for your eyeshadow to um, adhere to. Okay, so now that that is placed on, I'm going to take this purple eyeshadow. You can take any purple of your choice. And I'm going to just go ahead and put this on the lid. This looks almost like a blue because it has like blue reflexes in it. It's one of those purples that if you look at it at a certain angle, it looks blue. So this is just also for the guideline of our glitter. It's not going to really even show through. So this step is not too much important. I just, I don't know, I just like the idea of having an eyeshadow underneath the glitter. It's not a pencil brush. It's like a squared off brush I don't know and I'm gonna just spray it with some water get it nice and wet okay now I'm taking this glitter and it's just like this white glitter I'm gonna just go ahead and put this into the inner part of the lid well in the tear duct area so I'm placing that on the lower lash line and in the tear duct so this is where that is going to make the eyes pop in the center. This look is very messy, so I would suggest you guys take your time with it if you guys have problems with um, glitter and all that good stuff. Okay, so now that that's on, we are going to go with our crease color. And I know they say don't use shimmer in the crease, but for this look, it's extremely appropriate. I'm taking this um, rose color. It's like a like a burgundy kind of shimmer color. And I'm going to put this into my crease area. With a fluffy brush. Just like that. It's like a hot pink almost. And it's very, very, very shimmery. Blackout, but you can use any black that you're comfortable with. Taking that black and popping this right here on my crease. Well, my little V. And we're going to just blend this in really well.
Okay, so then now I'm going to just bring it in slightly. So it's kind of like a cut crease almost. So just doing windshield wiper motions. But that you want to do that when the black is pretty much blended out already. You don't want it very strong in the inner corner. Well, in the inner part of the lid. Going over that again with that rose color to, you know, brighten up that crease some more. So this is what it should be looking like so far. So good. Now we're going to take our lash, I mean our glue adhesive or anything of your choice to make your glitter stick. I'm taking lash glue <laughs> to make my glitter stick because that's all I have right now. So it's going to work. I'm just taking this waterproof um, lash grip by Ardell and it's in black. I should have had clear for this, but I mean it is what it is. It's not going to show anyways as you guys can see. So just taking a little bit on my finger and you want to work fast because this glue dries really fast when it's on the lid. Okay, so a little bit like that. I'm just going to just cover it on top of that purple. And we're going a little high as well, so kind of get it in the crease just a little bit. LA Colors, getting it on that brush and I'm going to go ahead and pack it on the lid like so until you cover up the glue and the eyeshadow. Now you have your desired amount of glitter. Now I'm going to, don't worry, I'll clean up all the excess fallout. And I need my color to come back because there we go. So you guys can see the actual colors and everything. Still not quite vibrant, but it'll work. Okay, so now I'm going to take my black eyeliner. Okay, now we have a nice wing liner, a pretty thick line. Now we are going to take, this part is extremely tricky. Um, I would suggest you guys take your time with it because it's like a hit or miss. Um, this, and I'm placing the glue on the tip, and you do not want very much, just a little bit like that. Now I'm going to just go ahead and place it on my lower lash line. Apply my blue glitter. So you're going to kind of just pat this glitter on. onto the lower lashes well not to the lashes but to like underneath your waterline definitely mm. so as we let those sit and dry and get nice and tacky we are going to, oh yeah, I forgot to put my brow bone highlight. I'm taking, um, what is this called? Arena by MAC, and it's just this frosty brown, it's like a tan color. And I'm applying that, applying that to my brow bone. It's the highlight. Now I'm going to finish with the face, and I'll be right back. So now I'm going to just go ahead and contour a little bit of my face because I just look like a round little butterball. Nose, forehead. Okay, so now I'm looking flawless, honey. But now like the face is nice and contoured and chiseled a little bit. Um, I don't think I want to do blush because I don't want to look like a New Year's Eve clown. 
So I will just do lips. This one's by e.l.f. and it's called um, Classy. Okay, I'll do a little bit of lip liner. Just a little bit of color. And then just a little bit of gloss. So now that the face is done and gorgeous, oh my gosh, I'm loving this. What do you guys think? You guys like it? Okay, time to take this hair down. Style this hair, girls. And we will have our completed New Year's Eve look. Um... I don't know exactly what I'm going to wear today, but, um, yeah, so this is my New Year's Eve makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'm not going to even proceed with doing, like, the hair or anything because it's just going to be really simple for me since my makeup is, like, really over the top. Um, I'm just going to hair up and try to, but here is the, um, New Year's Eve makeup slash New Year's. Um, you guys have a wonderful New Year's Eve and a New Year's, you guys. Um, this has been a really great year, and thank you guys so much for all your support. Um, I hope this look, I hope you guys do try this out, although it is pretty last minute. I'm going to try to get it up before the night is up. So I love you guys, and as always, please don't forget to comment, rate, rate and subscribe, and I will see you guys next year. Yeah, can you guys believe this year is like over, done with, bye-bye, hello? I cannot believe it, but, and I'll see you guys next year. Bye, guys.